Hey y'all, I guess you're wondering why I'm using a can opener on this. Or they're maybe wondering why they can't see our whole face. <laughs> <laughs> on this sweet and condensed milk. Oh, it does. Hey y'all, I guess you're wondering why I'm using a can opener on this sweet and condensed milk. And I will tell you why, because Deb had the bright idea that she's going to make us some Frosties. Do y'all love Frosties, Wendy's Frosties? I, I do. I love the chocolate ones. I've tried the others. <clears throat> they don't compare. You know, I, I told you earlier that, that we make Wendy's Frosty ice cream in our ice cream freezer. And we've done that for years. But Deb has something. If you don't have an ice cream freezer or you don't want to mess with an ice cream freezer, you don't have to. You don't have to. Deb proves that to us tonight. I made this already once and it turned out really, really good. So we're going to make Wendy's Frosty. And I think, did you say you used the same, same trouble with it? I'm having trouble. I'll try. Okay. Did you say that you use the same ingredients <coughs> yes. that I've got here? Let me tell you what those ingredients are while Deb opens that can. I couldn't open it. Uh, <laughs> we use a half a gallon of chocolate milk, and we love the Mayfield chocolate milk if you live in Tennessee, Georgia, or Alabama. So, half a gallon of that, a small container of Cool Whip or whip topping, and a can of evaporate, <coughs> not evaporate, uh, sweetened condensed milk. Yep, and you do the same thing in, in the mix that you're using in your freezer. So what I what I do, I'm, I made it in a bowl last time. I'm trying differently. I'm going to make it in a pitcher this time. Okay. So we're going to put the whole eight ounce container in there. And this is thawed out. Yes. It's not frozen. And then we're going to put in the sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Gonna Actually, I'm going to use that to scrape Alrighty. this out. And before we put the chocolate milk in, I'm going to use my whisk to mix up these first two ingredients. Yes, you get them good kind and of smooth. mixed up a little bit. And when this freezes, um, it does freeze hard, but it's not like ice cream. It, like solid. It's not real, real solid. You can kind of scoop it out real easily or even dip it out. But what I like to do is let it set out for a few minutes and get a little bit soft. Cause mm -hmm. you know, it, when you get a Wendy's there, you can, you can't slurp it with a straw, uh -huh. Yeah, but it's a, still a little bit soft. Yeah. I know when Tink gets his Frosties, he likes to have his really solid. You know, Does he, he doesn't like to let it melt at Ooh, all. The melty part's what I love. Yes, me too. <laughs> and so I like to have mine melted. And so I wait till I get home and by that time it's yes, good. it's perfect. It's perfect, you know. <laughs> all right, time for a half gallon of chocolate milk. And I went ahead and got the, uh, uh, what do you, the real chocolate, the real milk. Um, not the 2%. Yep. Whole the milk. The whole milk, yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna take Chocolate my whole milk. I'm gonna yeah, take like my it. whisk and whisk this around. Now it does have to go in the freezer, and it takes a little while to freeze. Mm -hmm. So, but I promise you, it tastes so much like. Well, it does. So, if you were doing it in in an ice cream freezer, mm -hmm. you would just put it in the freezer and let the ice cream freezer do its thing. Yes, that's it. That's all you would do. Well. Um, I actually have one cup left of what I've already made well, the one time before, so we can do a taste test. Oh, goody. Because the difference in this <clears throat> and the Frosty at Wendy's is it kind of has a little bit of ice crystals in it mm -hmm. whenever you put it in the freezer and make it kind of hard, right. hard frozen. So, take a test. Here's a straw or a spoon. It's, oh, we can still use, you can still use a spoon. Okay. I'm going to use this spoon. So, do a taste test. It looks just like a frosty. Yummy. It tastes just like a frosty. It, it does. tastes just like a frosty, y'all. Mm. This this mm -hmm. has been setting up for a little while, so it got pretty pretty mm. soft, but it just is just like a frosty. That is yummy, y'all. So, I like to do mine in a pitcher, and I put it in my freezer, let it get um, frozen real pretty good, mm -hmm. 
when we're ready, I set it out for a little while and let it unthaw a little bit so I'll have the um, runny part <laughs> whenever yeah, we're ready to eat it. <laughs> so I like to um, put mine in the ice cream freezer because, I mean, it is good. This is great. I love it. But w when you have it in the ice cream freezer, it is a little creamier, more like ice cream. Okay. And that's the only difference, really. But the flavor is there. I mean, so it's good. good. So there is uh, two different ways to make a really good summertime ice cream dessert. Mm -hmm. Really good, y'all. Make yourself a Wendy's Frost. Yeah. See ya. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Cooking <laughs> with Mo and Dan. Yeah. Bye.